the Melcroft Passive Treatment System was constructed in 2010. The Melcroft Mine Pool, number three mine pool, had been flooding local residences. And so the system was constructed uh, to address that. It is a passive treatment system using natural elements to achieve the, uh, the treatment of the mine water. The average flow that comes out of that mine pool is around 400 gallons a minute. Behind you, across the road, that's where the mine is. And we have the water coming across the road and into our first pond, which is the collection pond. Um, on the far side, you may see the pipe squirting water in. There's another discharge on the other side of uh, Champion Creek, which is on the, the border over there. And that's also being piped into this first pond. And this first pond is all it's doing is the collection pond. These next two ponds, they both do the same thing. It's just half the water goes into the far pond, half the water comes into this one. These are vertical flow ponds. So they have a lot of limestone in them and the water comes in through, through the first pond into here. We've got a little bit of vegetation from when they mow, the grass got in. And so you'll see the grass growing up through. In the vertical flow ponds, the organic layer removes oxygen from the mine water and it creates a geochemical environment that helps keep the metals, primarily iron, dissolved. There's a base layer of limestone aggregate, and on top of that is placed organic substrate, uh, mushroom compost, wood chips, that type of material. And then it travels down through the organic substrate to go into the limestone aggregate. And what this does is this addresses the acidity that's in the mine water. After it flows through the limestone aggregate, and it drains it out into what's known as an oxidation and settling basin. The oxidation and settling basin allows the mine water to become oxidized. The basin also allows for sufficient time, usually about 24 hours, for the suspended metal particles to settle from the water and be retained in the pond. The next two cells in the treatment system are aerobic wetlands. These help to further polish and clarify the mine water by removing remaining iron particles that are too small to physically settle from the water. Aerobic wetlands are very efficient at enhancing water quality. The closely spaced plants act as a physical filter that helps trap fine suspended particles the wetland plants and soil materials have a slight negative charge on their surfaces. This attracts and bonds positively charged iron particles in the mine water. The final bed is called a manganese oxidizing bed. This bed is composed of limestone which provides an environment where manganese oxidizing bacteria can flourish. These bacteria remove manganese from the mine water. Unless these types of beds are constructed, manganese removal in mine water through passive treatment is difficult to accomplish. Once the system discharges, it goes into Champion Creek, which is a cold water fishery. Um, most of the streams here in the Indian Creek watershed are cold water fishery. There are fish everywhere in the Indian Creek watershed. Wow. Very pleased to see the recovery of the Indian Creek watershed due to all the uh, abandoned mine land work that we have done here.